Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from the Mobile Report. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So since the announcement or the news that came out that T-Mobile is going to force migrate legacy plan holders to newer plans, we have gotten several updates since then. So we're going to discuss that in this video. So this is the article that I made a video on here. Here's how to opt out of the T-Mobile Force plan migration. So this is this is the update update that, that, that has came out since. And we'll we'll cover that in this video. So initially, this was the update how to check if the opt out is successful. And then you see the little picture listed below. So that has been scratched out because that is no longer the case The update now t-mobile seems to have decided you don't deserve to see if you've opt out or not the migration opt-out listing on the service page is no longer visible as you would expect this immediately made people think the opt-out was removed it isn't instead it's been reconfigured to not show in the service in the services list but it's still on the account and then again something else was scratched out so this is some internal uh, internal documents listed here below. If you'd still like to check if the code was applied to your account, you can do so by signing into your account on a computer and visiting the same service page as before on the on on there. Press F12 to open the Element Inspector on Chrome, and simply uh, th th that right there is just too confusing. Uh, some people are not are not going to be are not that tech savvy, so this is very confusing. But if you want to check, just go ahead and follow those steps, and then everything is listed below. Unfortunately, there's no way to check this on a on a mobile device on a mobile device for now. And then there's a lot of FAQ in here that I highly encourage you guys to check out as well. We'll cover a few here. What happens if I do nothing? If you are one of those, if you are one of the impacted plans you will be migrated to a new plan sometime in November. The plan you are migrated to will vary and is listed in the chart at the top of this page. If my plan is migrated, what happens to my free lines? In the past, customers who voluntarily changed plans from any of the ones impacted have had their free lines migrated successfully. This should be the case for an automatic migration as well. So it looks like you get to keep your free lines at least. When can I request to opt out of the automatic automatic forced migration? Notifications begin to go out October 17th. You can request to be opt out at any time, but due, due to some confusion among representatives, we recommend waiting until this date to opt out. So again, you cannot, you, people have already su successfully opted out recently, um, but it's up to you, right? This is the advice, the, the advice given here, wait till October 17th to opt out. But again, there's there's lots more. There's lots more Q&A. And then uh, some final thoughts given. So make sure you check that out. So this is very interesting, right? This seems, in my opinion, this seems very rushed. Um, this seems as if T-Mobile didn't think this all the way through. Just, you know, those are just some of my thoughts. This is what this feels like. It feels rushed. Um, it feels like they just literally did this, you know, a few months ago, and now they're already implementing it. As I said in the previous video, they probably did a small sample size. They liked what they saw, and they didn't even go to a larger sample size of migrating accounts. They just went ahead and said, let's just push it, push it to, to the base, to the entire base. So could this potentially still backfire on T-Mobile? Eh, possibly, right? If, if they're... If their numbers are correct and the ratios look good, I don't think that many people, you know, if they if they get 5 million, let's just throw that throw a number out there. If they get 5 5 million customers, right? Some of those 5 million customers opt out, some of them leave. That's that's not a big deal for T-Mobile. That still means, you know, if the number if the total number of of people affected by this is 60 million, that means 55 million still migrated. You know, that's that's still a win for T-Mobile, a big win at that. 
So just something to think about, just some additional Q and A's that you might want to read over so you can be informed. Um, some updates, right? You can no longer see the opt out in the, in the menu online, but there, there is another option to check it. But like I said, if you're not tech savvy, that could, that could be a little confusing. Um, but there are steps to follow on there as well. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where T-Mobile is headed from here, right? What's next? Uh, that's, that's the million dollar question or a billion dollar question. Um, who knows, right? What's next? You know, could we see Magenta Max customers get migrated? Could we see legacy Sprint customers get migrated? As I said, my speculation, if this is successful to any rate, right? This first, I would say the first migration, if this is successful to any rate for T-Mobile, like I said in that previous video, Sprint legacy customers count your days. You know, it's it's going to be a, it's it's going to be done. It's going to be done. That's that's the very aggressive way. Like I said, this is setting a new precedent. And that's just how T-Mobile is operating. They feel that they've done enough. They've invested enough. The network's good enough. They're they're growing the, the network. So this is how they're going to operate. This is how they're maneuvering. We'll see. We'll see what their next move is. Make sure you stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.